हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सॉरॉक्स क्लासेस सो आई एम सॉल्विंग द पेपर ऑफ आई जी आई डी आर सो आई एम सॉल्विंग द पेपर ऑफ आई जी आई डी आर सो आई एम आई विल बी सॉल्विंग द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो सो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन सीज दैट द एल एम कॉफ इज अ सेट ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डैश एंड डैश सो विच आर द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट सो दी एल एम कॉफ विच एक्चुअली डील्स विद द मनी मार्केट एंड द आई एस एल एम फ्रेमवर्क so the elm equation is a function of rate of interest and income and it has two part one is the transaction demand for money transaction demand for money and other part which is the speculative demand for money so this and this so the transaction demand for money can be written as so basically we write lm function of this lr or we can write m by p or small m a function of r and y is equals to lr plus ky while this k part is this the transaction demand for money and this is the speculative demand for money and this square prime y is positive and l prime r is negative so by k prime y we say that the transaction demand for money it is the money that we use for everyday purpose so for everyday transactions everyday transactions so when income increases my money demand increases and this part is the speculative demand for money which is the amount of money people want to hold amount of money the amount of money people want to hold in form of liquid so basically when r rises so people shift their money in the form of bonds so therefore the liquidity falls so the lr is a negative function of rate of interest rate but the question is this income is basically real income because our day to day transaction actually depends upon real income how much money how much goods and services we can buy with this amount of income whereas this rate of interest is not adjusted for the rate of inflation basically this is the nominal interest rate and for the money supply which is solely the money supply which is solely under the control of the central authority or the central bank so we say that in the equilibrium the money supply is equals to the money demand and with this equilibrium condition in mind we try to derive the rate of interest and the y which keeps the money market in the equilibria and by solving the is and lm equation we try to find the rate of interest and y that keeps both the good and money market in equilibrium in equilibrium so this is precisely how we proceed and therefore the option number 5 is the correct option so in this previous video and in this video i have solved almost all the questions of the igrd 2015 paper i will be solving some other questions of our, or other papers uh, so until next time thank you so again uh, for the details study materials online classes and live classes you can always contact to this phone number and you can check our website which is sorofs classes@gmail.com until next time thank you